Hey, 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 everybody! This is the Blue Eyes King coming back to you right now. I know it's been a while since I've done a Yu-Gi-Oh! reaction video. Last time we, last time we were here doing the original Yu-Gi-Oh! reaction video, you saw how we won the got his ass whipped by you getting his ass whipped and got his all, all his insects destroyed by Yugi Moto's traps. <laughs> Weevil is too cocky and too dumb for his own good. Trust me, I know. But anyway, I'm about to show you what happens as we continue the duel for the first duel in the Duelist Kingdom tournament. Who will win? Yugi Moto or Weevil Underwood? Who will win? Let's find out. This is the fifth episode of the uncut edition of Yu-Gi-Oh! Known as the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. So sit back and enjoy the next part of this journey. Just up by one duel. Yeah. In duel monsters, you never know what the next turn might bring. It's a little early to be celebrating. Who does this woman think she is? And who's she calling little Yugi? Are you blind? Can't you see Yugi's in the lead? Please, Weevil Underwood is the All Japan champion. The real battle hasn't even begun yet. Hmm. You know, Kaya, I'm gonna have to agree with mine on this one. Hmm. I'm gonna have to agree. Well, who's Yugi's gonna win, but he can't let his guard down. Mm. I think so, too. Uh, either way, he'll have to duel this girl sooner or later. So, Yugi, I'll watch and see how strong you really are. Come on, Yugi. Yugi. You will regret this, because now this is quite personal. Well, then, put your complaints in your next card. I'll meet you head on and beat you. Ah, uh, can the act. I've got the ultimate trump card here in my insect deck. With it, I can beat anything you've got. Your life as a duelist is already over, Yugi. Cockiness will get you nowhere. <laughs> this card doesn't stand a chance against his face down cards. <sighs> what, what was that? <laughs> Bring on your next attack, Yugi. <laughs> you have to do better than that, because I remember his trap card is still active on the field. I'll plant this secret card on the field to finish off the job. Parasite! If I declare an attack, all my monsters will be destroyed. If two cards, including Dark Magician, are hit, that'll be a serious blow to my life points. Exactly. How can I take the least risk possible and still destroy his trap card? Aha! This is the card! Monster, Monster recovery. recovery Card! I can call back all my monsters on the field! Return to your cards, monsters! <sighs> I didn't think of that! Yes! That returns my hand and all the cards on the field to my deck. Reshuffle. I'll pull a hand of five more cards and throw the one with the weakest attack power onto the field. Kariba! Attack! Yes! Says Kariba's the weakest monster! That really does it! Now my turn has finally finished. And your trap card's out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going just as I planned! What? I'll bet you'd like to know what card I put down last! Larva Moth? Larva Moth? Its attack and defense force is so low. Could that we will be planning a combo attack? Possibly. <laughs> now I'll play my trump card! Cocoon of Evolution! What? Join Larva Moth! What's going on? <gasps> what is that That's thing? Gross. Bug is wrapped up in a cocoon! So, Weevil Underwood's finally starting to show his true ability. It's wrapped up in a cocoon. 
Now Varbamoth will transform once each turn until in five turns it reaches its final stage as perfectly ultimate great boss. And you don't have anything that could possibly be perfectly ultimate great boss. Perfectly ultimate great moth. That's right. Your power source gives Cocoon a higher defensive power. Not many monsters have an attack force to match this elevated defense force. The attack force in your cards could hardly score. Where's your defense force? Five turns, Yugi. In five turns, this perfectly ultimate great moth will defeat you. This is bad. Once it evolves into perfectly ultimate great moth, I don't have a chance. I've got to burst its cocoon before then. So you have five turns to try to destroy that cocoon. Mm. Come on, Yugi. Gaia, the fierce knight! Oh no! Attack the cocoon! Yugi, wait! That box was not too strong! That box was too it's not even strong enough to No! no! What were you thinking? Why is it that bounced right off? Exactly! You're wasting your time! Uh-uh. What is wrong with you, Yugi? That monster has 300 more defense points than Gaia! Yugi! You've gotta do something to beat that cocoon! <laughs> exactly what is so funny? Yeah. You guys apparently don't know much. No wonder little Yugi's having a hard time. Enough of that little Yugi stuff! <laughs> Calm down, Taya. Don't It's don't really to too bad. No one's ever beaten a cocoon of evolution combo. What, what did you say? What? Are you trying to say that Yugi's going to lose? What now, little Yugi? You might as well give it up, Yugi. Your cards can't even scratch me. Even if I try a combo, I don't have the cards to beat that cocoon's defensive force. How can I? How can you? As long as Cocoon of Evolution is on the field, and until it becomes perfectly ultimate, I can't play any other cards. My turns will end quietly, but the monster in the Cocoon is evolving all the while! <laughs> Come on, Yugi, do something! Anyway, I'll use this card to strengthen my defense. <laughs> Getting ready to run again? I thought you were going to be tough and beat me head on! Come on! This is no good. I'm just wasting turns without coming up with the next move. Only two more turns before perfectly ultimate great moth is reached. <laughs> I've won this duel already. Don't give in, Yugi. I won't forgive you if you give in this soon. What can I do? Don't make me stand here and watch you lose this, Yugi. Put some fire into it. Some fire. That's it. That's it. Once a game has begun, a duelist's only ally is herself. I've never known cheap talk like yours to help anyone win a match before. <clears throat> it does help him. Yugi knows we're standing behind him. I'm standing right behind Yugi him, too. And Yugi will win this thing. Exactly, Tara. You're all as naive as ever. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yugi! Watch! A pheromone hussy like Watch you this. can never possibly understand our friendship. Could he have found some strategy to make a comeback? Amateur right there. Here goes! Curse of Dragon! Alright! Oh, full attack! Let's see what it is. Go now! Hellflame! Hellflame attack! Yeah. It's a waste of your time, I told you! An attack like that won't even scratch me! Hmm. You might want to win again. Funny. Who said I'm attacking your cocoon? Huh? What I attacked was the forest itself. Yes! Never! The forest? You burned away the whole field! Now your cocoon of evolution isn't getting any more power. Your now defense power has dropped. Now it's vulnerable to an attack! Gaia, the fierce knight! Spiral Shaver! Strike down that cocoon!
this before, but... It's out and down and down and down and down and down! This is great, Mark! The fourth stage of evolution! But I thought I took five turns! He's right. It's really great, Moth. <laughs> it may not have completely evolved, but it got far enough to defeat you! Yugi! So this is Weevil Underwood's true trump card. I've never seen it before. Great, Moth. Weevil's practically won it already. You're in a tight spot now, Yugi. I did manage to stop it from reaching the ultimate stage, but... Time stage. <laughs> Lost your spirit, have you, Yugi? Why? I am guessing that the great moth here has left you speechless. <laughs> hmm. I've been trying to imagine what the beast would look like, and what plan of action to use to defeat it. Ah, beat it then, if you can. Let's battle! Sure! Do! Great moth, take flight! Flight, huh? Figures, I knew you'd attack from the sky. Of all Yuki's cards, Curse of Dragon is the only one that can wage sky attacks against my Great Moth, and none of them can match Great Moth's attack power. Next turn, first I'll destroy that weak landlocked Gaia the Fierce Knight. This is bad. Gaia's the center of my attack force. If I lose it, I'm bound to lose the match. Give it up, Yugi. Your pathetic little Gaia is helpless against my massive flying Great Moth. <laughs> Then I'll throw this card into the mix. <laughs> Palomarization! Whatever card you play, it's still hopeless! More hurricane! Favor Warrior! My man! It's working! The gale generated by those gigantic wings instantly destroys all creatures that crawl the earth! Come on! <laughs> I vanquished your Gaia the Fierce Knight! I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? Weevil, it is quite apparent that you don't understand all the effects of this card I played. What? What's that? Polymerization. It uses them together to create... Gaia the Dragon Champion! This polymerization card melds its two servant cards! You merged both Gaia and Curse of Dragon? That's right! Which in turn raised Gaia's attack power. This should make for an interesting sky battle. Yeah, they had the same attack points, so... Don't bug and destroy it! <laughs> Raised Gaia's attack power, huh? We'll soon see. What? The Dragon Champion's body! What's happening? What's going on? Why? Yugi, what's going on with Gaia the Dragon Champion? Huh. Poison scales. <laughs> That's right, you're finally catching on. So you finally learned that Great Moth Moth Hurricane not only blows away all land monsters with its scale, but also stirs up poison scales to poison enemy monsters. If you don't move fast, the pungent gases will knock Gaia's attack power down to zero. Come on, you can do it's something. Bad. If its attack force falls any lower, my life points will become zero. I know. Come on. <sighs> ah, this is my last chance. Look at you. Mocking you, the magical mist! You're covering the ring in fog! Right. The mock you card envelops all monsters on the field in mist. I see. The moisture is supposed to wash away the poison scales. That it? That should at least stop my dragon champion's power from falling further. That's right. What a relief. I am very glad to know that that is the best strategy you could come up with, Yugi. Watch now, it. Now, Great Moth will use an attack much more powerful than poison scales to bury your Gaia once and for all. Yeah. Do it! Great Moth's ultimate attack! Oh. Moth burning death tornado! Uh. Gaia is defeated! Uh. <laughs> uh. Your life points are a candle flickering in the wind, Yugi! He's at 50 life points! Come on! Hey, there, Yugi! You'll think of something! That's this right! This battle's over. That's not true! I'll bet you anything that Yugi will win! I won't give up hope! Forget it! What chance does he have of possibly turning this thing around now? In a duel, friendship and hope don't mean anything. Duels aren't nearly that simple. Yes, it is! You could never know anything about the friendship that we share with Yugi. Tell her how it is, Joey! Yugi will! There's one last way he can win. He'll be all right. And what is it? Don't know. I only came in eighth in the regionals. Don't ask me. 
Joey? That's just Little true. Yugi never had a chance against the All Japan Champion. Uh. There's no need for him to be ashamed of his battle. Mm. His opponent was just too strong. Wrong, Little Mai. Uh. 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 Little Mai? Your stupid guess was way off. Uh. Just look at Yugi. <laughs> He's laughing! He's laughing! Yugi's really laughing! But why? You're about to see! <laughs> what, what are you laughing about? What's so funny? Weevil, tell me what it is you enjoy most as a duelist. <sighs> Isn't it when a duel goes exactly as you predicted, and you're finally sure that victory is yours? Isn't it? <laughs> What's your point? You fell right into my trap, Weevil. Gaia was a ruse from the very beginning. That's Gaia right. was a ruse? It's my turn. And I'll attack Great Moth with this card. Summon Skull! Yes! That's it! But how? Summon Skull has 2,500 attack points. That Great Moth only has... No way! That Moth has 2,600. He caught me by surprise! Summon Skull should yield a lower attack power than my Great Moth! If it attacks, Yugi's life points will fall to zero! The win! Why attack with that card? Does he want to lose? <laughs> you still don't understand, do you, Weevil? I'm referring to why I used Mock You card, that is. Uh, what? Completely soaking in water. So you finally see. The Machu card was only setting up my summon skull attack. Which makes Great Moth more vulnerable to electricity and raises Summon Skull's attack power by 30%. Now it's strong. Go summon skull! Magic Lightning! Out of your mouth, Weevil! Great Moth is sunk. <laughs> my, my, my Great Moth! <laughs> bye bye, Weevil. Yeah! Yogi, <laughs> you did it! You won! Amazing! Amazing! I see now how he managed to beat Kaiba. My answer. My, my ancestor. <laughs> this can't be! <laughs> Who'd have thought the first one to get sent home would be the All Japan Champion? You know the rules. I'll take both your starships. That means you're out of the tournament. You're not making your way off of this island, you insect. I'll just keep your glove for my own use. It's good that I got my glove. That means I'm still in the tournament as well. Now I've got three starships. Just seven more to get to Pegasus. Just you wait, Pegasus. That's right. That was amazing. How Yugi literally defeated that freaking great moth. It's true that the moth is only in his fourth stage of, ev of evolution, but still, he did it. Now he has two star chips on his on his dual glove, which means he only needs like seven more. He has three on his wrist, but he needs seven more to qualify. Yes, and now Joey's got the dual glove. Oh boy, this is going to be something. Well, thank you everyone for watching this for my reaction to episode five. Please leave a like and comment down below. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! Reaction. This is Blue Eyes King, signing off.